Hi all, Simone here. Good to see you. I'm in beautiful New Orleans this weekend. It's uh, almost Mardi Gras and one of my favorite parades is tomorrow night. It's Crew de Vue weekend and it's gonna be super fun. But I thought I'd share a couple of things with you that I know you really have to get right so that you can scale your company without a hitch. So you've got to do two things to really have a shot at this. And I'll talk about those in a second. But there's, first I want to know about, I want to talk about the couple of things that I've seen this week, talking to a lot of the people who get on the phone with me, who all just think that free stuff is going to fix all their problems. And you know, free stuff is great. I mean, like you're here right now because there's a free video. Hi, Donna and you want to see what I got to say, but like free stuff is only good if you implement, implement, implement and face it. I mean, if that would just always work, then you just buy a book and get a course. You probably have a thousand of those on your shelf, but since most humans don't really do that, you need a little bit more than just free stuff. And um, so I'm saying that because I got something else for you. So stick with me to the end of this video and then we'll actually do something for you that works so that you can get to building this company that's gonna be absolutely amazing. So I told you there's gonna be two things that you absolutely must do so that you can get this right. And um, one is you gotta be wired. And when I say wired, I don't mean you have wires out of your head <laughs> so you look like Medusa. It's more like you gotta have the energy to get up to do this because this is gonna require a lot of energy. I'm not just making that up. So you gotta be wired. And then the second one is you gotta get really close to the boring stuff. That's gonna be the most exciting thing you've ever done in the end because it's gonna help you. So you're not gonna just do all this stuff alone. So you gotta be wired and then you gotta take care of the boring stuff. So let's talk a little bit more about being wired. What does that really mean? So there's really kind of a, a three for one thing. So like I said, it's, it's all about, you gotta have the energy, the get up, so you can get off your ass off that couch and do all the stuff that you're gonna need to do to build this company the right way. So you don't get, you know, a year or two or three down the road and then you realize you have to fix all this stuff because that's the worst thing you could be doing. So the three for one is really, you gotta have the energy to do that. And then the second thing is you have to be super decisive about what you're doing. So when you read about super successful CEOs, one of the biggest traits you read about is they're really decisive people. They're not gonna muck around. They're not gonna try things. They're gonna look at what's the most important thing I can do. What's the outcome I'm going for and why do I need this? And then they just do it. So they're, they're, the third thing is being super committed. So you have to be decisive and you have to be incredibly committed to get something done. And that means, I mean, being decisive, like I just said, is that you just make a decision, you make it from your gut, you know it's important, you do it. And even when reality seems like it's completely prohibitive, for the really committed, uh, for the really committed, it doesn't matter what reality says. So you, because you're going to find a way if you're really committed, no matter what, you're going to find a way to do that. And for some people, that's about the money. If you feel like you can't afford to get the right training to do something, but you're going to look deeper to find what you need. Or uh, for some people, it's time. They feel like they don't have the time to really commit to something that's going to get them to the next step. But think about how much time you're wasting by not doing that. And then for other people, it's just that they have a bunch of excuses all the time. So, and sometimes time or resources could be an excuse, right? So that makes up this thing of being wired, the energy being decisive and being committed so that you can get this thing done that you're building. Because if you don't think about how many people are going to miss out, you're going to miss out, your team's going to miss out, your audience is going to miss out and you're not going to get this done. So the second thing I was talking about that you absolutely have to do so that you can get your company right so you can scale this thing is you have to get take care of the boring stuff. And that's like I said, it's going to be when you have done that, it's going to be the most exciting thing you ever did because it's going to change your life. And that is bringing structure, the right structure, the right processes into your company. So when you think about this for most entrepreneurs, they abhor structure. It's like you didn't want structure. That's why you became an entrepreneur, but structure sets you free. But that means you got to get the right processes, the right systems and the right people in place to help you with this structure. You can't scale this thing without structure. Think about what happens when you 
pile on weight, pressure on something that's not stable, like a foundation of a house. So the more pressure, the more weight you pile onto that thing, the more unstable it gets. It's the same thing with your company. If you don't have that foundation absolutely super tight and really solid, the more pressure you put on that and you are gonna pile on a ton of pressure when you scale this thing, the more unstable it gets and eventually it's just gonna explode. So don't do this without getting those things right. So thanks, Donna. Um, what was I saying? So you can't do this alone. You, you got to do it, right? So you got to bring on, you got to put in the structure that's right so you can do this. And just think about what it'll be like when you put the right processes and the right systems in place and then the right people who can help you push the needle in your business, who can help you carry this weight so that when you hit that product market fit, when you hit that momentum, it's not just you doing it all anymore. It's, it's a whole bunch of people who are all pushing in the right direction with you. So you're all at that same speed. You're doing the right things at the right time in the right priorities so that you can actually really get this thing going. So when you think about what really increases your growth, your revenue, your valuation, it's those things. If you don't have the right people, the processes and systems in place, it's never gonna happen. You, you can only control this stuff for so long and then if you don't let go and actually become a leader, so that kind of go, means you go from, from doing everything to letting go of that piece and then you start leading people. And in the beginning you lead a few people so you're still controlling everything they're doing. But then when you really become a leader, it means you have to lead leaders. So actually I totally lied. There's three things you absolutely have to do so you can scale your business without a hitch. One is you have to be wired. Two is you have to take care of the boring stuff, the processes and systems and the people. And then the third thing, you have to become a kick-ass leader. Because here's the deal. If you don't know how to inspire all those people, they're not going to give you their time and their energy to do this right. So you have to learn how to inspire and how to grow people. And that is really the most important thing. So you can't this alone. You can't do this alone. All right. So keep thinking differently. This is what got you here. We talked about you got to be wired, get off your ass, do this thing. You got to keep pushing even when it gets hard, even when you want to throw in the towel. You got to put the right people, processes and systems in place so they can help you actually carry the load so that you don't explode and your business doesn't explode under all this pressure you're about to heap on. And then you have got to become a CEO, a leader who leads leaders so that you can actually take this thing to the next level. So don't do this alone. In the beginning, I told you I'd do more for you than just give you another free video. And here's what I'm gonna do for you. I created this amazing training that is gonna take this to another level. And yes, it's free. So you can go to bulletproofstartups.com and watch that free training, get the free training on there. And then I'll give you even another thing because if that sounds like the thing you want to do and you need some help to put this together, you can apply for a strategy call with me at the end of that. So go to bulletproofstartups.com and I will talk to you soon.